so uh, walking the dog is now it's actually good for the new puppy and I don't know if you haven't seen him properly before Trapper Trapper come come boy this is Trapper Trapper the Collie with his one blue eye he is carefully being tuned by Cass and ourselves he's going to be a bit of a working dog but also a friend and Alexia is going to be getting her female version of, of the Collie soon she's just looking for the perfect mate and uh, that will be his future wife that's going to be really awesome uh, but she's going to be training that, that one to be helping her out a lot with the sheep and goat herding don't want to just put the sheep just anywhere every day because then they just go through the same stuff all the time and there's a lot of biodiversity around in different areas like up on the hill we've got the amazing cactus species and then on the other side it's all those flatland grass areas down at the river it's all these green bushes and actually the river is a good place for them to eat but we have to move them around so and it's usually not me it's usually alexia or my or my dad walks them around and it's hard to control without the help of a herding dog they just go off in directions and they do what they want or they all run back to the crawl because that's where the yummy food is so they just run back instead of just grazing out of it so it's gonna help having a dog and now you've properly met trapper he's going to be my side of the story is going to help out we still have Cass here Mr. Foreman but Cass is like nine years old now he needs to chill out a bit he still runs in the direction here full speed chasing rabbits and trying to get to the baboons which he shouldn't do it's a bad idea Cass bad idea and in anticipation of the bigger rains that's coming possibly hopefully uh, to do like a trench behind the house started off with a little bit of a 30 centimeter deep 30 wide trench that I chopped out with the mattock uh, it's not enough but it will definitely help some of the water coming down for now because it's a rocky thing it will flow into the trench and around the house instead of under the house I don't want to get everything wet and I don't want to rinse away all the good soil and oh, and uh, foundations we don't want to do that Every morning the feed was manually wheelbarrowed from in front of the house down there here now we can just move it from here to the gate look at her she's about to explode it looks like there's two or three in there mm, two probably two it was the end of the video but now it's not anymore because 
Now this happened. <laughs> it's cute. Well, we did not expect that so soon. Thought it might be another week actually. So that's good, that's so cute. And every one of the kiddings got easier. The first was kind of painful and slow. The second one was better. And this, both of these were born in like 10 minutes. Probably 10 or 15 minutes. It's really cool. And they're really cute. And they are the offspring of Rain, the ram. So that's really cool. Happy to see. <laughs>